Hi, my name's Fred. I'm at the historic Greeley Inn in Greeley, Pennsylvania. And these are my top five Jeep inspired or Jeep cocktails. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe on the link below, and share on all your social media platforms. At the end of this video, please look for all of our other bar and restaurant related videos. Thanks for watching. Okay, and the first drink we are making today is called the Duck Duck Jeep. That's right, a Duck Duck Jeep. A lot of people ask me for the inspiration for these cocktails. And I have to be honest, we bought a Jeep in January and we are just hooked. So these are my top five Jeep cocktails. And this is the Duck Duck Jeep. For the first one, you're going to need two ounces of Malibu rum. I do not have a spout in this, so I'll be using a jigger. Two ounces of your Malibu rum right in the glass. On top of that, we are going to add a half ounce of your triple sec. Perfect. And then we are going to top that. So normally I don't use white cranberry juice, but because I'm trying to get a uh, neutral base, I'm using the white cranberry juice because then we can color this cocktail any color you want. So if your Jeep's blue, we can make it blue. If your Jeep is yellow, we can make it yellow, orange, green, etc. But since my Jeep is red, I'm going to make this a red cocktail. So I added two ounces of cranberry juice, and then I'm going to top with our grenadine. Put about three quarters of an ounce in there. I'm going to tumble this to incorporate everything. I'm going to tumble to incorporate. Perfect. And we are going to garnish. We can't leave this alone. We're going to garnish with a little rubber ducky. Oop. Stay up there, buddy. For our duck, duck, jeep cocktail. And it is... Oh, he fell over. Delicious. Okay, and the next cocktail we're making is deceptively strong. It's called the Jeep Wave. The Jeep Wave. What you're going to need to do for this is your half ounce of grenadine. You're just going to pour that right into an empty glass. And I'm using a mason jar. So a half ounce of grenadine. Then on top of that, we are just going to fill the glass with ice. A little bit more. There we go. And on top of that, we're going to put one ounce of your Malibu rum. Again, I don't have a spout, so I'll be using a jigger. One ounce of Malibu. Then, two ounces of your orange juice. Pour right on top. One ounce of your vodka. Pour that right on top. Two ounces of your pineapple juice. And remember, always shake your pineapple. Two ounces. And then one ounce of your melon liqueur or Midori. Put that right on top. You're going to add a little ice just to fill the glass. And you're going to just give that a tiny little stir and it's going to incorporate the grenadine. It's almost like an upside down tequila sunrise. Make that come up a little bit. And there you have your, oh, I forgot the garnish. We're going to put an orange wedge as a garnish. And there's your Jeep Wave. And it is delicious. Okay, and the next cocktail we're making is called a Jeep Fuel, a Jeep Fuel. So this you can make a couple of ways. Normally I make it with moonshine, clear moonshine, but I don't have it, so we're just making it with vodka. You could also make it with grain alcohol. I do not, go, I do not like going above the 150 proof grain alcohol. But today we're using vodka. We're gonna use a half ounce of vodka. Perfect. And we're gonna use a half ounce of melon liqueur. Perfect. And just a dash of triple sec. There we go. Dash of triple sec. We're going to shake to incorporate and strain. And there you have your Jeep fuel. And it is, say it with me, delicious. Okay, the next cocktail we're making this evening, my favorite, I'm a whiskey and bourbon fan. This is called the Daisy Duke, the Daisy Duke. For this, you're going to need two ounces of your whiskey or bourbon. I'm using Jack Daniels, two ounces. Perfect. And then we're going to add an ounce of, I'm sorry, a half ounce of peach schnapps to that. And then on top of that, we're going to fill with lemonade, fill with lemonade. Now we're gonna to tumble to incorporate everything. Clean up your mess. This is a very refreshing and delicious drink. And there you have 
your Daisy Duke. You can garnish with a lemon, but I am not prepared. Delicious. And guys, at the end of the video, please check out all of my other bar and restaurant related cocktail videos. I do have over 100 different videos on YouTube uh, for my top five cocktails. Would love for you to check them out and give us a thumbs up. Thank you. Okay, the next cocktail we're making this evening is called a mudslinger. A mudslinger. What you're going to need for this cocktail is one ounce of your Baileys or Irish cream. One ounce. Then you're going to need one ounce of your, whoop, backwards, Frangelico. Oh, oh, man down, man down. Clean up your mess. This is embarrassing, embarrassing. That's alcohol abuse. So one ounce of your Frangelico on top of that. I shouldn't be pouring with my left hand. And then on top of that, where you're going to put one ounce of your Kahlua. Same jigger. I need to get spouts for all these. One ounce of your Kahlua, and then one ounce of your Malibu rum. Trust me. You're going, ew, Malibu on all that? It tastes delicious. One ounce of your Malibu rum, right on top. We're going to give that a good shake to incorporate. Pour it back down. We are going to add into this a couple crushed Oreos right there, and then we are going to top with whipped cream and add a few more crushed Oreos. And there you have your mudslinger, and it is delicious. Hey, thanks for watching. We appreciate it. Again, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe on the link below, and share on all your social media platforms. And at the end of this video, which is right now, please look for all of our other bar and restaurant related videos. Thanks for watching.